guys, welcome back to Sea Eye Fishing Guernsey. We've come out with a nip rowing today, he's just behind me over there. We're coming out to hopefully catch some garfish. So I tried uh, a couple of days ago with no luck. So we're gonna be using some <coughs> chum today. As you see there that we got the garfish on the feed. As you know, these uh, the garfish are a um, surface uh, feeding fish. So yeah, hopefully with a bit of chum in the water and a bit of scent, then uh, come on the feed. So yeah, it's an early one, it's only seven o'clock in the morning, so we're well up for this. Let's see what we can do. I'll just run you through the float setup we're gonna be using. Happy days. So we are guys, gonna run you through what we're gonna be using. Simple as it gets if you're uh, beginners to float fishing. All these guys are bead there. We got our uh, one ounce uh, weight that, uh, float there, sorry. We've got our bead, a uh, one ounce weight, a little ball weight, another bead, your swivel. You just want your trace line, you want about a foot, foot and a half of um, mono. And all he's got is a, a little one oh silver hook. So hopefully that does the business. We're going to be fishing about between one and two foot for these garfish. But all we're going to be using for bait, get out of the bag. <clears throat> these good old sand deals again. I managed to pick some up from our local tackle shop the other day, so happy days. Enough chatting, let's get on with the air fishing. Morning guys, we've got a bit of a head-on breeze, so uh, apologise for any wind noise, but yeah, hopefully uh, as that sun gets in the water, we'll get the garfish on the feed. Get the little nippers running the water, and hopefully we can get him a few garfish as well. Happy days, what a beautiful morning it is in Guernsey. If you haven't hit the like button already guys, that'd be really appreciated. Happy days. Yeah. So what we're doing with the chum here guys, it's put some oil slick on the surface and the garfish will smell it from a long, long way away. So we're just chucking in a bit of the chum every, I don't know, 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, just keep the fish active if they're in here. So once you get them in the area, you uh, tend to take quite a few, so hopefully it will work and we can get them in for a few long moves, eh? We've got a few inquiries here guys, first long nose of the uh, session looks like coming in. They're coming in on the uh, scent. Come on, go again. Oh. Come on. Yeah. Is he going to go again? That's the thing. There we are. Fish on, guys. First car of the day. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful size one as well. There it is. There we are guys, that's known as garfish or long nose. I'm gonna get him off the hook and I'll get you a better show of it. Huh? Yeah, beautiful. The only problem is, guys, I didn't bring a rag. <laughs> so I'm gonna be covered. <laughs> get back in too. It's happy days, it's a work of surprise, that's the garfish. We're gonna be using this for a bait on the boat for turbo. Absolutely cracking our bait. So yeah, we're gonna dispatch this one guys and hopefully we can get a few more now they're in the water. We've only been here, what, 10 minutes? And they're ready. I said this is a garfish or a long nose is known in Guernsey. It's a surface feeding fish. So that's what we're using the floats. And like I said, the chum has done its work already. We've been here, like I said, 10 minutes and already it's got uh, the scent in the water and the garfish come in on there. So happy day, it's nice to see some, beautiful. Get it back in the water and see if we can get another one. That's one other thing, guys, I can tell you. Always bring a rag. <laughs> That's you covered in the scales. But all good fun. Hopefully, get the nipple one now. You see there, guys, there's one of the floats there. Where right my hand is. And the other one's over in the background there. Ella. So we're waiting for those to go under. Very when the long nose bites, it will either tip on its side like that, go flat as the long nose just sat on the bay, or we'll just go hammer down. So, yeah. There we are, in the background over there, we've got our uh, lifeboat, the RNLI, absolute cracking boat, saves a lot of lives. So, we've got over there, that's Cast Corner, that's where I was in the last video, after the black bream. And then we've got some sort of rig out here, I think it's doing something 
to do with pontoons, ain't it, I think? I'm not 100% sure if anyone knows. And over there, in the background, that's where um, our uh, fishing port is, our, uh, where all the fishing boats uh, live. So yeah, happy days. Let's see if we can get some more. We found the depth room guys, that's two down. We got Owen's rod in the water, fish aloha. And hopefully got a few more of these beautiful fish with hidden. <laughs> Happy days, there he is. Beautiful. Can't poke me in the eye. <laughs> I'll get you one now, matey. Oh, calm down, mate. These things are like little mini marlin. Beautifully They are actually longos. Beautifully hooked. They are actually longos. Yeah, look at the beak on that, look at the razor teeth. Gonna get it. We're not gonna mess around, guys. We want to get as many as I can for Pot Bay. I say and bait for turbo fishing for in the summer. We go back out there. Hey, hey. <laughs> you know, you 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 yeah, you so <laughs> and we missed them. Back in two guys. Come on, fish show guys. Come on, go on the baby. Come on, there with the bait. Fish on guys, go on. They're beautiful stamp of fish as well. Watch out. There's only a baby one. Three down guys, we're starting to hook into them now. Found the right depth, that's what I say. You can always uh, change the depth of where you're fishing and the fish are straight there in that water column. So we're fishing about a foot of water now, so hopefully we can get a few more. This is great fun. Fish on? Oh, you missed there. Unlucky. Owen, Roger, <laughs> I couldn't see the float when that side. Right, Roger, he's hooking me on the head. <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, he's floating to one about bloody three, four foot under the water. I'm just really uh, tying the hook on because that long nose bang me off. It's uh, going all off, guys. You don't need the line on already. Feel free to do so. This is great fun. <laughs> right, straight there, and I'll put yours back out in a minute, mate. We're going to try teaching Owen how to cast well in a bit. So that could be fun. Right, everyone laying somewhere, eh? Oh. Right, it's nice to get those three fish so far. I wasn't really, when it's first started, oh, I wasn't expecting to actually find any today. Yeah. Actually, the head to head the neck. Look there. Yeah, look. There, your thumb surprise there's only bait left. You went so far under. Never mind. Right, I'll get the rods back out, guys, and hopefully get a few more. Straight back in the water, see so if we can get another one thrown away. <laughs> Done with the chum, guys. I'm literally putting half a spoonful in every five minutes. So, all you need is something like that to keep the fish active. And now, we're, we're literally fishing in about a half a foot, foot of water underneath the surface. They're not feeding deep, that's for sure. You can see when I'm bringing the bait on, you can see the long nose, three or four long nose at a time coming after the bait. It's actually insane. See ya? Yeah, you got a fish on your ground, Owen's got a fish here, guys. <laughs> That's it, bring it up nicely. Got a hand. I'll put them over. 
crazy it's fish there. Lovely fish, well. First long nose of our own session, happy days. <laughs> Flo's about 20 foot under again. <laughs> you got to be paying attention there everywhere. Again, beautiful. What's that six we've had now, eh? Yep. We're on fire. We found him at the end. Lovely hook as well up. Could get another one. I reckon. There we are, go. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, get four more. We can get ten. <laughs> Didn't have the camera on in time there, guys. We just had a double hook up. <laughs> absolute quality. What a cracking session it's been uh, so far, guys. We first got here, absolutely nothing. And then change the depth of what we're fishing at and boom, every single cast we're going to hit. The float was literally off. I'm only using uh, the one rod now to all really tangled. So I'm going to give it another, I don't know, 20 minutes or so here. Well, we've got 10 gar fish so far, so we've plenty of bait. So yeah, it's been a great session here, mate. So you had your first one, you had three. You had three long days? Uh, three. Three, yeah, so you've done really well. Four. So in all, we've had a great little session. Happy days. Yeah, we're doing well. Fishermen in the making, eh? That's how we do it on the channel. Do a couple more casts, but it's so hard to leave when you're catching fish. But yeah, happy days. I'm one inside like a kid. <laughs> nice. So, uh, guys, our lifeboat looks like it's either going out and training or going out and have some action. They definitely do a good job, that's for sure. What a boat that is! Great crew. Guys, it's off training up in the lifeboat. What a beast of a boat that is, eh? Absolutely awesome. Big up to the RNLI, bunch of legends. So guys, what a cracking session we've had. I'm just gonna let the nipper have one cast. So getting his first cast, he's learning to cast on his own now. So yeah, but uh, we missed Kurt in the end, we had nine gar fish, but with that last cast, hopefully we can get that temp. But in all, it's been an absolutely brilliant session. When it first started, I was in the to catch nothing. We sat here for half an hour with absolutely nothing at all. So yeah, it all has been a great session. So I'll catch you on the outro, guys. Happy days. Let's go down. 
go as you're going, ready? Right? So hold just one thing over that, go. Will I tell you, ready? One, two, three, take that. There you go. Okay. There you go, first car. So it's not a bad effort for his first car, still with a bit of help. I said we take him in the field and uh, teach you that's the best way. You'll uh, look at the, uh, teach your nipper until you pass that. Find the big field if you can, just with a plain lead weight and uh, learn from there. Still got this yeah, we don't need it anymore. We can go over the side because we're only having this last chock and then we're off aim. So guys, we've got all the um, long nose all bagged up now. So that's not going to go to waste. You use a lot for pop bait and uh, turbo fishing. So yeah, you enjoy yourself? Yeah. Good fun, eh? And as I said, we had 11 long nose, but we actually yeah, we, have nine. Yeah, we miscounted, we had nine. Getting too excited, eh? But in the end, all, in all, I wasn't expecting to get any of the way it started. The first half an hour, there was nothing. And then we changed the depth of the um, float when we were fishing that to about a foot. And it just went uh, crazy. So yeah. If you enjoyed this one guys feel free to uh hit the like button that'd be really appreciated and subscribe and subscribe as well if you're new around here so yeah cheers for watching guys we'll catch you again really soon